I'm going to show you the differences between an EVO 8 and EVO 9 transfer case. So most EVO 8s came with a non-ACD transfer case, meaning non-active center diff. Unless you had a 2005 EVO 8, then it had ACD in it. And then all EVO 9s came with an ACD transfer case with an active center diff. This one right here is the carrier diff housing for the ACD transfer case. And this half of it is the viscous coupler. This side right here is the carrier diff housing for the EVO 9 transfer case. And you can see there's a pretty big difference. So you could not put this diff carrier housing into the 8. And you cannot put this diff carrier housing into the 9. But I am going to show you how easy it is to swap the actual center diff between the two diff carrier housings. This one right here is the open diff out of the EVO 8 transfer case that's non-ACD, and open diffs are dog shit. This is the one that comes in the EVO 9 transfer case, and it is an LSD, but it's just not that great. And this is a one-way diff from M Factory, and that's what I'm upgrading this EVO 9 transfer case with. Now I'm gonna show you how easily interchangeable it is between an EVO 7, 8, and 9 transfer case if you wanna swap around or upgrade your center differential. So take that off, and just to show, we'll do this one first. Here is the OEM EVO 8 one. That drops right in. Here is the OEM EVO 9 one. Also drops right in. And then here's my upgraded M factory one. That also drops right in. Now I'll show you guys on the Evo 9 diff carrier housing. There's the Evo 8 uh, open diff. Here's the Evo 9 one. Here's the M factory. See how easily interchangeable it is? We'll put it together. Take off this ACD half. So everything in here, when you're setting your pinion depth, is all affected here in the tail shaft. And there's spacers and washers and thrust washers and other stuff in here. As long as, long as you don't take this tail shaft apart, and you put all this back together and your ring gear is in pretty good shape. As you can see, this one doesn't have the edges are not getting thin or anything. It's still real nice. Looks great. Looks in great condition. When you put this back on here and you put it in here, you are not going to affect your backlash at all. Now, should you still use some of that yellow paint, put it in there and check your backlash and see what your wear pattern looks like on the gears. 100%. As long as you're not affecting anything in the tail shaft, it will be really easy just to swap out your center diff in these things. I'm not gonna take apart this ACD part because I don't have all the internal seals and clutches and everything to uh, rebuild it. So this is what it looks like though. Just a real quick video showing you the differences between an EVO 8 non-ACD transfer case and the EVO 8 or 9 ACD transfer case and how easy it is to swap the center diff between the both of them. And as always, stay boosted. Peace out.